So in today's video, we are going to learn how to bisect a line and how to bisect an angle. On your screen, what you're seeing, we have this line AB. We are going to bisect it. And we also have this angle ABC that we are going to bisect. Now, for starters, the word bisect simply is another way of saying to divide into two. So in other words, when we say that bisecting a line, it's another way of saying dividing the line into two. So when we say we're going to bisect a line, we are dividing the line into two. When we, are going to, when we say we are going to bisect an angle, it means we are dividing the angle into two. So we'll go straight ahead into the procedure. So when we are bisecting a line, let's assume this line has two points. We have point A and we have point B. The procedure for bisecting this line is that we are going to get our compass, put our compass needle at point A, then we are going to stretch our compass. Make sure we stretch our compass until it is slightly it, it is slightly beyond the center of the line AB. Then we shall draw an arc on both sides of that line. In this case, we shall draw an arc on top and at the bottom, like the way you're seeing. The length by which we stretched the compass has to be maintained. So we shall, after we make sure you don't move the compass, you don't change the length of the stretch of the compass. So you remove the compass from the com so you remove the compass needle from point A and put the compass needle at point B, and you repeat the same thing. You draw an arc on top and on bottom. So after that, you notice that the two arcs have crossed each other. So we shall get our ruler and we draw a line connecting the two meeting points of the arcs. And ladies and gentlemen, that line we have drawn is the line that is dividing the line AB into two equal parts. So by that we have bisected the line. Just one more thing you need to know. Let me choose at any point on that red line, the line that have, we've just drawn. Let me, pull, let me call it point X. If I am um, to measure the distance from point X to A, you will notice that the distance from point X to A is the same as the distance from point X to B. And if I choose any other point still along the same red line, let me call it point Y. The distance from point Y to point A is the same distance from point Y to point B. What am I trying to point out? What I'm trying to point out here is that if I stand on any point along the red line, the distance from that red line to the point A will be the same distance from the red line to the point B. And so this means that that red line we have drawn, the line that is bisecting, is a locus of points which are equidistant from point A and point B. Let's move on to bisecting an angle. Like I had said earlier, bisecting an angle means we are going to divide the angle into two equal parts. In this case, our angle is angle ABC, so we are going to Divide it into two equal parts, and these are the procedures. We shall get our compass needle and place it at point B. Then we shall draw those two arcs, one arc cutting the line AB and the other arc cutting the line BC. While we draw these two arcs, we make sure that the length by which we stretched the compass is the same. Then afterwards, we are going to shift our compass needle and point it at one of the arcs. Stretch the compass a little bit. When you stretch it, make sure that the compass is fixed at that new length you have stretched it to. Draw an arc. Shift the compass from that arc. From from from. Shift the the compass needle to the other point. 
draw another ark. Then again, we shall get our ruler and we shall draw the line connecting point B to where the arcs meet. After doing that, we have bisected the angle ABC. So that means that if our angle ABC was, let's say, 60 degrees, by us drawing that line in between means that we have divided it into two, and so we have divided it into 30, 30. If the angle was, let's say, 80 degrees, and we bisect it, bisecting it means that we've divided it into two, and so one half will be 40 degrees, and the other half will also be 40 degrees. Like this video if you like it, be sure to subscribe, check out other awesome content on the channel, and as always, thank you very much for watching. This is Anil Gwanga Kuramia from Kisembo Academy.